Let me the blue. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Amazing Animal Inc's YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, get notifications when we post up new content. Today is Earth Week. It's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Yeah, party for the planet. So we're gonna go over some things that you guys can do to help the environment out, uh, give you some tips and tricks to hopefully help be more sustainable and eco-friendly. Yeah, and we'll also go over what we do at the sanctuary to try our hardest to be green and sustainable and some fun things you can do at home. So everyone always talks about recycling. Recycling is great, but what we can do, which is better than recycling, is reusing and reducing, all right? A lot of the world isn't recycling anymore. So at the sanctuary, we try our hardest to use things over and over and over again. And you better believe that every single box or newspaper that we get in, we use it multiple times for many different things. And enrichment is one of them. So come up in your, in your house with different ways to store items and use things. I never buy wrapping paper. I always wrap people's gifts with newspaper, the comic section, people kind of like that. But yeah, we're gonna make some fun enrichment here. Um, for our animals, you can do this for your dogs or cats at home even, that um, you don't have to go buy expensive toys, things that maybe you will last a lot longer, but is made out of some unsustainable materials. You can get things that your animals, and even your kids, you always see kids playing in boxes, um, build a fort, do something a little natural. You don't have to go out and buy things just to have fun and play games, especially while you're stuck at home right now. Um, building forts out of boxes, using things, trying to come up with nifty new ways to be green and have fun at the same time. And that's what we're gonna do with some of our monkeys right now. our bar and we wanted to talk a little bit about pesticides and poisons that we use a lot. That's one thing that we can be a little bit more aware of. Using all of the pesticides and fertilizers seeps into our soils, runs off, gets into our waterways, and it can make a lot of animals sick, uh, even us included. So looking at more natural things that we can use is a big, big step to helping the environment, making sure that our habitats are staying clean. And you know, a big one with birds of prey that people don't consider sometimes is rat poisoning. You know, I know we like to not have rodents and uh, things running around our yards and getting into things, but these guys are a natural part of the ecosystem that helps keep that down. So they're gonna eat all those rats, and if we use the poison, those rats are gonna eat that, they're gonna eat those rats, and they can get sick from that as well. So that's the thing that people don't always consider is the consequences of the products that we do use. So trying to be as natural as possible is gonna be the best that we can do for our environment. We plant lots of trees at the sanctuary, and that's something really good for the environment and easy for you to do at home. Trees are super important to help us clean our air and provide us with good oxygen that we need to survive. And also, they provide a shade. We're trying to get trees nice and tall around all the exhibits to shade our animals. And that's something you could do around your house. They, to provide that natural shade from the sun helps reduce your air condition bill in the summer. All right, so we have our ringtail lemurs behind us, Babs and Bayo, and these guys are a critically endangered species. They are only found on the island of Madagascar, which is facing a lot of human conflicts. And the biggest one is deforestation. So the good news is there's a lot of conservation efforts going on, and you can support those in the simplest ways. 
sometimes just buying a product you can look into and they actually will help support conservation. So Madagascar is a prime example. There's a really awesome company called Lemur Bags, really cute little handbags, purses, duffel bags, cute designs. They donate a portion of their sales back into lemur conservation. Uh, same with the cereal. There's a lemur cereal, really awesome. Everybody eats cereal. They actually donate a portion of those sales back into helping the lemurs as well. So little things add up. You don't have to be a billionaire to help support conservation or donate funds. You can look at your products that you buy and help doing that just by everyday things that you would end up getting. This is Leela and she's our lilac crowned Amazon from the rainforest of Central and South America. And she's an endangered species. And one of the reasons why she's endangered is because of habitat loss. The rainforest is being destroyed at an alarming rate. And we need the rainforest, number one, to breathe. Number two, the rainforest in Central and South America has over 70% of the world's animals. If we lost the rainforest, we would lose a ton of flora and fauna that we cannot ever come back from. Some of the most easiest things you can do is be a smart shopper, mainly when you're in the grocery store. A lot of products are actually being made from rainforest land. Companies will buy rainforest land for really cheap. They'll plow down the rainforest and put up crops or groves to make products that they sell. So there's a lot of really good resources that you can find on the internet of products that are rainforest safe. All right, so I grabbed some stuff out of our gift shop that we sell that is uh, really sustainable, reusable products that uh, help cut down on our plastic use. So reusable water bottles, a metal straw, a bamboo toothbrush, all of these things, you know, are made out of plastic that we use on a very frequent basis. And those plastics take forever to break down. A lot of times when they make it to the landfill, they end up getting out and getting into our water, which capybaras are a very uh, aquatic animals, so think of their waterways filled with all of your plastic water bottles, plastic straws. That's definitely not something we want them eating or getting into, so we can use reusable things instead. So this water bottle can be refilled thousands of times. You'll never have to use a plastic water bottle if you always keep your reusable water bottle around. Same with metal straws. I always have straws carrying around with my purse. Even when I go through drive through lines, I tell them I don't need a straw. Sometimes I get funny looks, but it's something that really makes a difference if we all do our part. Think of thousands and millions of people saying no to these products and how much of a difference that can end up making for our environment. So another thing that we're doing here at the sanctuary is we are changing all of our light fixtures that we possibly can to LEDs right here. These are amazing. They last a really long time and they're super energy efficient. Hopefully in the next year or two, every single light on the whole entire facility will be energy efficient and save our power bill and the environment. So there are a lot of things we can do to help the environment and it's endless and there's a ton of information out there. What I really recommend is choose one thing for your family to do. Just one thing makes a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. If everyone can do one thing a little bit better or a little bit different, the world would be a better place. Yeah, and you know, I think learning about these animals, if you get to meet them up close and personal, it really does make that connection and hopefully want you guys to go out there and try to do better. Like Brian said, just one thing just really adds up if we all do a better job and we'll get there. Yeah, I will post some um, links in the description of this video of some resources that I like to use that are fun ways to help the environment and hopefully you guys will choose those links and uh, pick something that your family can do, especially while we're quarantining. Uh, it's a great thing to do at home to be green and sustainable. Go out there, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.